Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to get started very quickly with Cold Warrior uh, IDE and the 9S12 Dragon Board uh, by Ytech. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to plug in the USB and the power and then on Windows the device that's inside of the board should come up that connects over USB and I find it in the device manager in the control panel of Windows and you can see that it's here it's COM3 on USB serial port so that is already done that's awesome so the next thing I do is I look for Code Warrior Code Warrior like that Code Warrior IDE load it up and we're going to use a, uh, a wizard to get up and running very quickly rather than to create all the code from scratch we're going to use the device initialization feature so create new project we're using the MC9S12 DP256B and we're going to use the HCS12 serial monitor so the specific chip is important and to know that there's a serial port that is running the, this monitor program is also really important uh, other ways of programming it would include stuff like the USB multi-link or you could run a simulation but in our case we are running the serial monitor that is resident on the chip itself Next up, we're running C, not assembly and not C++. We are going to use de device initialization, uh, processor experts, another option, but we're going to use just the simpler version called device initialization. We're going to use all the defaults for which type of memory we want and C startup code, and we don't want floating point uh, to be set up in software. And we're not going to use this thing either. So here we go. So dev device initialization starts up, and the way we know that is because it's got this little window that comes up here that says the CPU is going to be initialized. We also know that on the Dragon board, the LEDs are connected to port B because they're labeled PB7, PB0, etc. So I click on port B, the little B icon right there, and I say uh, that in terms of settings, I want the entire IO port as opposed to individual for the entire one to be output not inputs so outputs like that I want it to be set in binary I want all 8 bits to be set to output which in this case means I set it to 1 so I want 8 ones to be set up so uh, port B0 port B1 etc all the way to port B seven the rest I don't need to worry about and you can see that the uh, registers right here have been set when it's set to one it's in black when it's not it's set to gray I then say okay I then say generate code I say generate it creates MCU init.c which is right here it has also created the main.c file where it calls MCU init and now I want to debug using the serial monitor so I can see that project 10 I've highlighted project 10 whoops I have pro highlighted project 10 right here I'm going to say make and then I am going to hit debug and a new uh, application comes up called high wave I set it to com3 as I know from before it's now erasing the flash on board of the board itself it's actually connecting right now it's connected and if it's not connected um, then my recommendation is that you take a look to see if there are any old versions of highway running in the background you turn them all off you close them and you start over from scratch um, so a new version of highway that will be called from code warrior now in this case what we're going to do is we're going to um, show you that the C code is highlighted here in highway the assembler code that has been disassembled effectively is also right here the register values are listed right there I hit start and all the LEDs have lit up in the seven segment display uh, something I didn't say earlier was that port B is connected to both those individual LEDs and the seven segment display by default they actually go to the seven segments and to switch over to the individual LEDs there's another thing that you have to do so don't worry about that the seven segment LEDs have lit up on port B and that's all good and there you have it. That's how to get up and running with Code Warrior and device initialization in about five minutes.